Alright guys, Ivan here with another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger and his chest, pretty much. Is he the person who has the biggest chest in the history of bodybuilding and even today, even in considering today's era of bodybuilding? The last time Arnold competed was in 1980, which was how many? 40 years ago? And 40 years later, with all the technology development, with bodybuilders having teams around them, doctors, coaches, the knowledge is so much improved, the equipment, every single thing is on another level. And still, even till this day, nobody had better chest than Arnold, and that's my take. And now I will show you, so let's go picture by picture. So this is Dexter Jackson, and yeah, this is young Dexter Jackson, later he became bigger. But Dexter is one of the most genetically gifted bodybuilders ever. Even though he had superior back, arms, delts, everything pretty much, his chest was lagging behind Arnold. You cannot argue with that, you must admit it. There is another guy though, Franco Colombo, he is also from the 70s and the 80s, and his chest was very close. I would say his biggest weakness was actually were his nipples or his gynecomastia or so-called pitch tits. <laughs> that was the issue, but later he fixed that problem. He he probably had a surgery, he removed that part of a nipple that creates gynecomastia, and his chest looked aesthetic once again. But was it bigger than Arnold's? Was it more freaky? Was it more developed and so on? I don't think so. I wouldn't say so. Here you can see Frank Colombo standing next to Frank Zane, who was one of the most aesthetic bodybuilders, but not the most massive bodybuilder. So, was any of these guys better than Arnold? Nah, not even close. Look at Arnold here. Look at him. Look at his physique and admire it. The thing is that I like, that I find very, very impressive, is that he was a monster for his era. He definitely was a size freak but when you look at his physique if you are a bodybuilder of course if you are a regular person who doesn't follow bodybuilding you may say this is too big you may say that he is too muscular but if you are a bodybuilder you will say that this is very aesthetic physique this is very classic and aesthetic physique but his chest looks like i don't know it looks bigger than most women in the world definitely more than 90 percent of women in the world and still these proportions are looking perfect. So that, that really amazes me. Then you had Serge Nubre and his physique was very aesthetic, very pleasing to look at. Some people would say it's more aesthetic and his chest also looks very good, but not more impressive than Arnold's. Lou Ferrigno, the original Hulk, also very good chest, very, very good physique overall. And when he came back in the 90s, I think that was his best because he improved many things. He brought much better shoulders, arms, back, and for that reason he looked freaky. He was also very, very tall, very, very tall guy. I mean, he was the Hulk, right? And his chest, also very developed, very thick, and also very broad. But when you look at him standing next to Arnold, no way, no chance in hell that he has better chest than him. Nope. Surprisingly, Arnold's legs are looking bigger also. And look at this photo of Arnold. This is just <laughs> jaw dropping. I just dropped my jaw. This is just out of this world. What about Dorian Yates, my personal favorite bodybuilder of pretty much ever? Um, he had many weaknesses, for sure. Also, look at this photo of him when he was young. This gives me goosebumps, seriously. He was so destined to be a bodybuilder. He looks like Hercules. That's how I imagine Hercules to look like. Here is him doing his Smith Machine press, which made him a lot of gains, which he needed against Lee Haney, because that was his biggest weakness. Although the Smith Machine was probably the reason why he had a shoulder injury later, that's what he said. And here you can see that he was a monster, he was a humongous bodybuilder, he had pretty much size all over his frame, but his packs weren't as good. Here you can see him, uh, I mean, he doesn't have that many weaknesses, as much as people say. He was very complete, but the chest was one of his weaknesses. It looked pretty shallow, especially compared to the rest of his body. It just didn't pop out of his frame compared to this. Boom! Look at this. Look at Arnold's chest. So much mass on them. So much mass on those pecs. How was he even able to build that kind of mass 
in that era with that equipment and that knowledge and everything. I don't know. I don't know how guys of today can do this, but it is what it is. He is the best for that reason. The best chest, at least. And uh, also, very aesthetic, very aesthetically pleasing pose. I don't know. I find this physique very, very aesthetic, even though his packs were so freaking freaky. What about this guy, though? Ronnie Coleman. Arguably the best bodybuilder in the history of the world. The biggest one, the most defined one compared to his size. He had completeness, he had muscle on top of muscle on top of muscle. And his chest was one of his strengths, like pretty much any single body part. Maybe except his stomach, but everything else was on point. His legs, his back, his chest, his shoulders, his arms, everything was there. And look at it here. Very, very impressive. Very, very big chest. Extremely big chest. But proportionally speaking, not bigger than Arnold's. This just looks unreal. Look at the size of those packs, man, this is humongous, humongous. What about if we compare him to the current biggest bodybuilder in the world, 316 on the stage, big Ramy, bigger than Ronnie, not more defined, but bigger, not better than Arnold, still, I give it to Arnold again, again, the freakiest, the biggest, the most impressive packs in the world were those of Arnold. We forgot to mention one eight times Mr. Olympia, that's Lee Haney, who brought something different on the stage. He brought more complete package, he brought a great back, great legs, great shoulders, great arms, but his chest wasn't as good as that of Arnold. What about Jay Cutler, one of my favorite physiques of all time and personalities as far as Mr. Olympia's? His chest was kind of too tight. It looked very aesthetic, if you ask me. I liked it, but it wasn't the broadest chest, the biggest, the most massive chest, so not better than Arnold's. What about Phil Heath, though? Phil Heath had a kind of tight chest, his chest wasn't the broadest chest ever, but the pop that it had, maybe it still has, I don't know if he, if he retired completely, the pop that his chest had was just, I don't know how to put this in words, but it looked unreal, alien-like, alien-like. Look at it here. Here it actually doesn't look that tight and small. It looks kind of broad as well. But the pop that it has, out of this world. Out of this world. Very, very impressive chest. But do you find it more impressive than Arnold's chest? You cannot say that. You cannot say that. You can say that it looks more weird, <laughs> more strange, but not better. Not better. And here you can see Phil Heath from 2010, I believe. I'm not sure. I think this was before he became Mr. Olympia. He does look a bit younger and a bit smaller, although later I think the next picture is from 2011, and look at this, boom, wow, oh, <laughs> this chest, this chest, god damn, god damn. And what about uh, Kevin Livroni though? Before his pack tear, he was very aesthetic, very lean, he always came very conditioned, especially in 1992, but after his pack tear, he never came as conditioned and he never brought as good legs, but he came much bigger and his side chest pose is one of the best side chest poses ever. If he competed today, in my opinion, he would be Mr. Olympia, he would be unbeatable. By the way, do you think his chest is better than Arnold's? Do you think so? I do not. I do not. I would still go with Arnold. Still, you cannot find any bodybuilder nowhere near as good as Arnold as far as chest department. What about Flex Wheeler? Very aesthetic physique, cartoonish physique, crazy, crazy physique, but not the biggest chest, not the best chest. Dennis Wolf, big guy, broad shoulders, big chest, massive all over, but still, I don't find these packs more impressive than Arnold's. What about Paul Dillette, though? He was wide, he had broad shoulders, and if you really admire the vascularity that was going throughout his whole upper chest area, you would make an argument that he had better chest. But he wasn't the best poser, he's probably the worst poser ever. I don't know what was his problem, but that posing of his was, I don't know, laughable, to put it mildly. But was his chest better than Arnold's? Nope, 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 not even close. And if you see, Arnold is not even flexing here. He's not even hitting a pose and still looks crazy impressive. What about Branch Warren? He was one of the guys with very well-developed chest and grainy chest, a lot of veins on it. 
but you cannot say that it's better than Arnold's. You cannot do that, nope. Also, another guy that I really, really like, and especially his chest, that would be Cedric McMillan. He has very well-developed chest, and it is looking good compared to the rest of his body. So, in terms of development and proportions, Cedric is very close, but still not better than Arnie. What about our current Mr. Olympia, Sean Roden? This is the guy that I would say has the best chest in the world, better than Arnold's, right? Just kidding, just kidding, don't report the video, don't dislike it, don't curse me in the comment section. I was joking, of course, Arnold has the best chest in the world, nobody is getting near him, especially, especially not Sean Roden. So that's about it for this video, guys. I think that Arnold still has the best chest in the history of the world. And what do you think? Do you think I'm wrong? If you can think of anybody who had better chest, tell me in the comment section below. And tell me what you think. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.